Hey folks, it's Ray with Taste Radio. Right now, I am supremely honored to be sitting down with Michael Fideli and Patrick Mahomes of Throne Sport Coffee. Michael, how are you? I'm doing well, Ray. Thank you so much for having us on today. Super excited to be here. And Patrick, how are you? Doing great, man. Um, just appreciate you having us. I'm excited to talk about uh, Sport Coffee. Absolutely. Uh, can I clear the air just quickly before we get started here? I Patrick, as everyone knows, you are the best player in the NFL. At least that's my opinion. I think a lot of listeners would agree. But I'm also a Bills fan. I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. You guys have torched us, you in particular, for the past four or five years. And, you know, Bills fans are forgiving, kind people, though. So, you know, as long as you bring, I don't know, a few cases of throwing sport coffee to Highmark Stadium the next time you're there, I think we're good. I think we're, we're all set. We'll, we're all, all will be forgiven. <laughs> no, the, the schedule's coming out, so I'll make sure I have some on me. Um, we go to Buffalo uh, this year. Uh, I'll be at Orchard Park, and I'm excited to get back there. So I'll make sure I bring the, the throwing sport coffee with me. There you go. Thank you very much. People will be cheering for you. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know about that either. Um, Michael, you and I have known each other for quite some time back in the body armor days. You know, as beverage guys know, this is a very, very tough business. It's very tough to be successful with one brand. It's almost impossible to be successful with two. Why, after running marketing for so long with Body Armor, and even though it was a humongous success, would you ever get back into this business? Yeah, I mean, Ray, listen, I love beverages. Um, I love people. I love creating. Um, and I love building culture, right? And that's very important to me. And when I was thinking through kind of my next opportunity post Body Armor, again, fortunate enough to be the head of marketing at Body Armor, getting back to, to 2012 up until the, the Coca-Cola acquisition, thinking about what I was going to do next, right? And, you know, easily folk can fill their time with consulting, advising, whatever the case may be. And, you know, I, I thought about kind of what was important to me. And that was, you know, indeed doing something that was fulfilling, uh, creating, working with people, doing something that I genuinely enjoy. And, you know, started thinking about beverages, amongst other things. And, in the beverage space, uh, for me, again, I've been in beverages for 15 years prior to Body Armor. I was with Coca-Cola working on uh, Powerade and vitamin water and in the marketing space. And you know, I had the opportunity to see so many different consumer consumption habits uh, over the years and, and working with you know many different active adults and professional athletes and amateur athletes. One thing I observed you know, specifically was you know, folks choosing uh, coffee for, for energy, right, prior to athletic exertion, not only just in the morning, but before going to the gym, before going to training on a big game day, whatever the case may be. And I started asking folks specifically, you know, what coffees are you reaching for? And they're like, I don't know, I have a pot that's been sitting there for six hours, or, you know, maybe someone will, you know, go to the convenience store or the gas station, and pick, you know, X product up. And, you know, given how frequent active adults uh, and health-minded active adults uh, and athletes consume ready-to-drink coffee or coffee in general, I said, why isn't there a brand for the active adult or the athlete. Um, so that was kind of the foundation for coming up with Throne Sport Coffee. Um, active adults and athletes, again, uh, consume tons of caffeine, specifically coffee. Why not give them a better for you option? Um, when somebody goes to a gas station or convenience store and opens it up and they see a, a glass bottle coffee milkshake that's sitting there, right, with 300 calories and 46 grams of sugar. And why does an athlete who cares about what they're putting into the body have to grab that? Um, for their coffee fix. Uh, we could do better introducing throwing sport coffee. Absolutely. Patrick, you're an active athlete, active adult athlete. And Michael told me that you drink five cups of coffee a day. Is that right? I drink a lot. It gets a little bit more during the season um, than it is um, in the off season. But uh, I mean, I drink a lot of coffee. I wake up every single morning and I'm getting coffee for sure. Are you drinking hot coffee or are you typically a cold coffee consumer? You know, I... I, I really used to be just strictly hot coffee, um, kind of to piggyback what, what Michael's saying. Um, I used to, I didn't want to go to the convenience store and get that sugary coffee. I, and when I drink my hot coffee, I would drink black coffee to try to be the healthiest it possibly can be. And so um, it actually was cool uh, this last year when Michael sent me some of the samples um, and I was able to try those out and, and, and know that I was drinking a coffee, which I love, but a healthy version of that. And I could drink it during the season and didn't have to worry about the effects of how I feel after if I'm sluggish after the coffee's kind of worn off or anything like that. And um, it, it was just truly something that I, I believe in. And I, and I think it's going to take off whenever you get um, the throne sport coffee in the right hands and see that you can drink those ice 
um, I'm cold, ready to drink coffees. Um, and later in the afternoon, you don't have to worry about that, that hangover from all the sugar kind of wearing off and knowing that uh, you have the healthy version for yourself. Getting thrown sport coffee in the right hands is really important. Michael, how did you originally get sport coffee, throwing sport coffee into Patrick's hands? How did you meet and how did you get him interested in it at, at, at a certain point invested in the brand? Yeah, for sure. So, I mean, we, we met for the first time last year um, and started, you know, talking about opportunities and chopping it up. And Patrick's done a phenomenal job for himself, not only on the field, uh, but off the field from a business standpoint over the years. And he's had an amazing team around him. Uh, so we connected through some folks in Patrick's inner circle and kind of hit it off from the jump. Started just, again, talking about beverages and products and, and then also, you know, obviously uh, his success uh, both on and off the field. And long story short, he said, hey, listen, this is a, an idea I have. And again, given his consumption habits across uh, coffee, which are very genuine, he's like, you know, mind blown emoji. Like, I think we have something here. So let's figure out how we can uh, we can formalize something. And, and honestly, you know, in terms of working with Patrick, you know, to be the lead investor on phone sport coffee, uh, there's no one else I'd rather, you know, partner with to build this brand. Again, his passion, A, about the product and what we're doing, which obviously comes through in terms of how he talks about it. But beyond that, you know, he, he, he wins at the highest level, right? He knows how to win in all aspects of what he involves himself in. And, you know, that's what, you know, I, I like to think, uh, you know, we can do something really special with Throne Score Coffee in terms of really disrupting the category. Uh, it's a $7 billion category, right? Ready to drink cold coffee and it's growing 10% per year. And, um, you know, you go to any of these convenience stores, gas stations and some grocery as well, it's the same old brands that are in there. And, um, a lot of dark brown and beige and black packaging. And, you know, we're excited to, to introduce Throne Sport Coffee to the world, tell folks and educate folks about our better for you story and, you know, create some excitement, disruption and, and, and some color kind of in that coffee category space. Now, typically I don't drink a lot of flavored coffee, but you guys stole my heart with the French vanilla. I love vanilla as a flavor and I'm going to try this right now. And while I'm trying it, I'd love to hear from you, Patrick. You know, this conversation actually makes me, oh, there we go. See, we're brothers, yeah. <laughs> uh, brothers in coffee here. Um, this conversation makes me recall one I had with Kobe Bryant. Uh, rest in peace. Kobe Bryant was one of the largest investors in body armor early on in its development. And he talked about his first conversation with Mike Rapoli, who was one of the co-founders of Body Armor, and how he convinced him to invest. Uh, what aspects of this brand, of this business, really convinced you to take part as the lead investor, Patrick? Um, I think, I think first off, that always get what always got me was the, the passion that Michael uh, talked about and how he truly believed in Throne Sport Coffee and that it could really get you to the the next level. And then that's what you're always looking for. And as an athlete or as as a person, and you've seen the health the health uh, craze kind of go throughout the, the the nation, is that you really want to take your body uh, to the next level and be the healthiest that you can be. Um, and so everything I put in my body, I, I'm, I'm looking at the labels, I'm paying attention to what's in it. Um, and so whenever Michael talked about all how much healthier and how, how much natural caffeine you were going to get um, from this coffee, I thought it was just a, a no brainer. And I, I knew from my experiences of, of playing in the, in the uh, NFL or um, being around pro athletes and, and seeing how, how they really invest in their body as, as well. I knew that once they saw Throne Sport Coffee and how much health benefits it has, um, that it was going to take off in the NFL. And then I'm, I'm excited for the the real world to see it and how they can take off um, on where they train and how they kind of help perfect their body and, and be healthier for uh, their lives as well. Well, I've had my first few sips of the French vanilla variety. It is remarkably delicious. Um, you know, I'm not a, a huge sugar person. And the fact that this only has eight grams of sugar per uh, 11 ounce can is fantastic. It doesn't taste artificial in any way, shape or form. In fact, I think the only sweetener in here is cane sugar. Is that right, Michael? That's correct, natural cane sugar. So the French vanilla, the salted caramel and the mocha have eight grams of natural cane sugar, which obviously is easier for your body to break down and, and turn into to fuel or energy. And our black coffee, uh, just 25 calories and one gram of natural cane sugar. So no stevia, no erythritol, no artificial sweeteners, just the cane sugar. And the best part about it is it's not overwhelming. It's not filling. It's not a coffee milkshake like you guys mentioned with some about, you know, in describing some other brands. I feel like I could, I already finished half the can. I could, <laughs> I'm sure I could finish another two. In, in Ray, easily. that's by design, right? So it's 11 fluid ounces per can. So it's not 15 or 20 or, and it's not, you know, super small either, whether it's six or eight. So 11 ounces, you have the opportunity to have presence via shelf 
you know, visual. Um, but then beyond that, again, you want folks to consume this and have the ability to, to go out and hit the practice field or go for a run or hit the gym or whatever the case may be. So uh, that was all, all by design. And part of that are, you know, consumer insights in terms of working with folks like Patrick and, and other active adults that use the product and use coffee regularly. It feels like this is also a product that sort of straddles the line between coffee and energy. Um, and on the side of the can, uh, it describes this as coffee plus to get going, to keep going is trademarked. Um, how much of your positioning is really designed to attract coffee consumers versus energy consumers? Yeah, it's, it's going to be focused on coffee. We are a coffee. Um, we're not an energy drink, we're a coffee, right? We're going to be in the coffee door in convenience. We'll be in the coffee sets in, in grocery and we'll be, you know, in the coffee section on, on Amazon, right? And that's that's important for us. There's a huge opportunity. Again, I mentioned it earlier, right? $7 billion category in ready to drink cold coffee, um, single serve, right? It's it's set to potentially surpass roasted coffee and, you know, uh, pod coffee, um, instant coffee, uh, literally next year. It's pretty wild in terms of what the growth is. And, you know, Gen Z is more likely to pick up and drink a ready to drink cold coffee than any hot coffee. So the, the trends are wild. They're going to continue to grow. There's such a need for a product like this. It's a huge consumption occasion for so many people, so many active adults, so many athletes consume coffee before they go hit the gym, before they go for a run, as an afternoon pick me up. You have these gentlemen that are working outside all day, uh, landscaping, manual labor, blue collar guys, and they want to hit the gym at five o'clock when they get off of work. They're stopping at a, a gas station or convenience store. You know, they're picking up TBD coffee or another type of drink um, and fueling up to hit the gym for an hour or hour and a half afterwards. That's our consumer. And we're going to make a splash with that consumer. Uh, we're coffee and, and coffee plus is specific to that. Again, we're made with, with premium Arabica beans from Central and South America. Um, so our uh, legitimate coffee Beyond that, 150 milligrams of natural caffeine. All the flavors you're tasting in that French vanilla, right? It's, it's natural flavors. Again, the natural sweetener, natural cane sugar. And then we've got 100% daily B vitamins loaded with electrolytes, potassium plus sodium, uh, and then BCAA. So again, it is genuinely a better for you product uh, than what's out there on the market and, and couldn't be more excited to, to get this in folks' hands and drive trial and uh, hopefully keep them coming back for more. Absolutely. I'm going to try the, the salted caramel variety right now. And while I'm doing it, uh, Patrick, you know, Gen Z consumers are known for being able to sniff out inauthentic messaging, um, connections with different brands. In fact, there's a whole blowback against celebrities going on right now in social media. Uh, you know, how do you authentically connect with the typical, the target consumer for throwing sport coffee? Yeah, I think um, first off to kind of top on what, what Michael was just talking about. I mean, I'm drinking these coffees before I go work out early in the morning and it's not giving me the jitters. It's not giving me anything like that. It's giving me that natural feeling of I can go out there and get the workout that I want. And I think that was big for me. I mean, just because that's what I want to do every single day. I want to be the best I can be and, and get my body in the best shape possible and, and be able to get the most out of every single workout. And um, I think um, to kind of show that it's authentic to me is that I do it. I mean, I'm drinking it every day. I, I, I gave it to my QB room uh, actually today, and I, I passed it out and let the guys try every single flavor. And um, I want others to, to get this. I want others to see the benefits that Throne Sport Coffee is giving me. And I, and I think when it's true to you, you can really speak in that way. And I think people can authentically hear it in your voice that you believe. You believe in the product. Um, more than the investment, you believe in the product and think the product's going to turn, um, kind of keep taking off to another level because of the, the, I would say the, the best benefits that it gives you every single day. And um, sometimes I have to stop myself. I start uh, talking too much. I get a little jitter, uh, a little, a little amped up because I know that I, I want to get this great product into the best people's hands and really let their lives be better for it. Michael, by the way, the salted caramel is fantastic. One great thing about the salted caramel is that it still tastes like coffee. So many times I'll taste a salted caramel flavored product and all you're tasting is salt or caramel or you know a, a combination of both. This actually tastes like coffee that has salted caramel flavor. Well done. Thank um, you. Thank you. We want them to be smooth and, and very drinkable. Yeah. Uh, Michael, you shared with me that this is not launching. This brand is not launching in a space that a lot of brands launch in, which is the natural channel or specialty, or even in some cases, conventional grocery. You're going into C stores in the heartland of America. Why was that your retail strategy? Yeah, I think uh, for a number of different reasons, right? Working with Patrick, obviously he's 
he's enormous everywhere, given the amazing success he's had, again, both on and off the field. You know, that said, to focus on the geography, right, literally the, the you know, 15, 20 states in and around, you know, the heartland, you know, we, we think that there's great opportunity to do that. And so many brands, as you know, uh, right, wrong, or indifferent for, for many brands, it works really well to focus on the coast or in urban areas or in that natural food chain. That's right for a lot of brands. For us, I think we have a crystal clear vision and strategy for where we want to go and, and how we want to take this to market. So it's doing that in, in the right way. But, you know, upon launch, um, again, we're going to be in in you know 3,000 plus outlets, brick and mortar outlets um, in more than 20 states. That's just the start, right? And we're going to continue to expand upon that as we you know go throughout this year and early next year and already have some retailers locked in uh, beyond the launch retailers. And then obviously we're available via Amazon as well as sportcoffee.com. So if you are in geographies outside of those 20 states uh, and you want to order, you can, you can you know purchase 12 packs. But then we also have uh, our trial pack, which is a, you know four pack of product. I think you know for so many brands, you know you want folks to go online and go to Amazon and buy your 12 pack. Well, no one's tried one can of you yet. How can you expect someone to do that? So we wanted to make sure we had the right uh, offerings for the consumer. Uh, therefore, the the trial, the, I'm sorry, the four pack uh, trial pack to, to have folks taste every flavor, and then they can come back and pick what they want more of. So last question, Patrick, it's really important to get the community excited about what you're doing. And the community I'm talking about is the pro football community, the NFL community. For me, I'm just going to do whatever I can to, to set the right stage of how throw sport coffee can make your day better. Uh, man, I think that's going to come with me just keeping doing things like this, interviewing, showing the benefits that it's, it's given me in my life, not only on the field, but off of it as well. Um, and then just keep introducing people to it. Um, and that's what I've been trying to do so far. And um, I, I feel like I've been not, not in from the very, very beginning, but I've been in for a long time. And I got to do the samples, give my feedback to Michael. And I feel like we've come up with four great flavors um, where, like like you, I drink strictly black coffee and being able to drink the French vanilla, the salted uh, uh, caramel, and then the, the mocha java. It's, it's really been um, a something where we came up with flavors uh, with, along with the black that I think people will love. Um, and we're going to keep doing whatever we can to keep introducing more uh, with, with with feedback from the, the consumer as well. Yeah, and Ray Patrick's being humble. He's he's working. <laughs> he, we're putting him to work as part of throwing sport coffee. Like, yes, you know, again, he was very much involved in the in the product innovation and providing feedback on samples. And even as I was finalizing the ingredients, you know, what do athletes care about in their product, right? Well, maybe it's something we should consider including here. Um, but beyond that, he's met with retailers. Um, you know, he's, he's communicated to uh, other different folks that are going to help move the needle on the business, whether it's on the uh, uh, manufacturing side or distribution side. So um, he's in this thing and it's awesome to, to have a partner behind the scenes who's, who's as committed, um, you know, as, as Patrick is to this. Um, it, it's, it's off to a great start. Well, as anxious as I was seeing Patrick on the field against the Bills, I'm even more anxious now because all the energy you're going to be getting by drinking this coffee before games, uh, during games perhaps, is just going to make us, uh, I don't know. I I'm just worried. I got to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very, very excited for Throwing Sport Coffee. Congratulations to both of you for creating a dynamite brand out of the gate. Really excited to see where this all goes. Uh, let's stay in touch, and I'd love to continue this conversation as the brand continues to develop. Appreciate you having us, man. I'm, we're, we're super excited.